Hello all, welcome back. This is Christopher Dana from Trinity Software. In this video, let us see MongoDB crude operations using Python with PyMongo. To start with, you should have installed MongoDB in your system and connected with MongoDB Atlas, which is a cloud service. And you should have set up Atlas URI connection string and a cluster. I have given the link for the tutorial of how to install MongoDB in Windows and set up MongoDB Atlas in the description below. Python needs a MongoDB driver to access the MongoDB database. In this tutorial, we will use PyMongo, a Python library which enables us to connect with MongoDB. To install PyMongo in the command prompt, just type pip install PyMongo. PyMongo allows us to retrieve the data with dictionary like syntax. Okay. Then in crude, C stands for create operation, R for read, U for update and D stands for delete. So all these operations can be performed in MongoDB using Python. Okay, so this is the cluster which I have created. I have created this sample underscore DB and the employee collection in my previous tutorial video. Now I am going to make use of this DB and the collection to insert documents. Okay, so I am going to import PyMongo first. Then we need to create a client by using PyMongo dot Mongo client. This is used to establish the connection between our Python app and the MongoDB to manage the data in the NoSQL database. So the connection string which we have obtained in the MongoDB Atlas should be pasted here. So I have pasted the connection string for the database which I have created. Okay, so these are the credentials I have used to create the database. Make sure you replace the username and the password placeholders with their own credentials which you have obtained in Atlas URI. After this, we are going to get the database and the collection which we have created in the Atlas. So I am getting this DB database by using this client.get database. This is the database which I have created there and the collection name is employee. Okay, fine. Now I am going to create a menu driven program to list out all the four options of crude. So here it is. The crude operation is given from print statement 1 to 4 and fifth option is for exit. Getting the user's choice in the variable called a ch and I am calling certain functions. I am going to define the functions now. So if the user's choice is 1, if it is add employee, then I will be calling the function add employee. So let me define that function here. So create operation, I have two methods insert underscore 1 and insert underscore many. That is to insert single or multiple documents. So this is the add employee method. To insert one document, we have to create a dictionary that contains the data to be inserted into the collection and pass the dictionary to the insert one method. So if the user's choice is one, I am creating a document with the employee details like employee ID, name, department and a salary. In our MongoDB, the first ID will be underscore ID. So I am placing employee ID in underscore ID itself. Okay, then I am mentioning the name, department and salary. So we have created the dictionary. So this dictionary is passed as an argument of insert underscore one method. The other option is you can insert multiple documents. We have to use insert many method. To insert these documents, we will create a list of dictionaries that contains the data to be inserted into the collection and you have to pass that list to insert many method. Initially, I am creating an empty list and I am getting the number of employees from the user. It is obtained in the variable called n. For using the for loop, I have got all the details of each and every employee and it is placed in a dictionary. Then the dictionary is appended to the list. So the list of all employees will be available in L. Then I have used this collection.insert underscore many method where this list is passed as an argument. So in this way, new employees are added. So now let us run and check the output for create operation. Okay. On executing, I got this menu. So I'm entering the choice one. You have two options again. That is either you can insert one employee or a multiple employee. Initially, I'm pressing choice one. So enter ID will be one name, department, sales, and salary. I'm just giving some random. Okay. So we got the message that employee one details inserted. So now again I am pressing the choice one add employee. Now let me select 
insert multiple employees choice 2 number of employees insert 2 employees so that loop will be executed for 2 times now id is 2 name let me enter department accounting salary okay now we have to enter the id for the next employee id 3 department it okay so new employees are added okay so in order to see all the documents you have to press this option display employee details but since we have not yet written the code for that function just press exit now okay fine now let's write the code for read operation that is displaying the contents either you can read a single document or multiple documents to retrieve a single document we use find underscore one method and to retrieve multiple documents we use find method and in display we have various options let me paste the function here okay so this is the function for display so again i have created a menu for display that is either you can display a single document or display all the document and you can display certain fields alone in this case check the name and department and display with the filter that is you can give a constraint by using query operators like greater than less than and equal to symbol for example display the employees details who get the salary above certain amount okay so these are the four options fine so you are getting the choice from the user so if the user chooses the first option display only a single document in that case you have to get the employee id from the user as the input and you are going to pass it in the dictionary format then you are passing it as an argument in find underscore one method or else if the option is second one that is you want to display everything means just give collection dot find the return type will be a cursor object so using the for loop we can loop over the cursor object and print all the documents okay in this case if you want to limit the number of documents to be retrieved then we can also use limit method here okay and the third option is to display the name and department alone so here for in collection dot find the first argument is an empty dictionary second argument will be what are the things you need to retrieve i want to only the name and department so you have to set it as name colon one and department colon one that way you can retrieve the names and departments of all employees and the last option is filter the query using the query operators such as greater than or equal to here as i have mentioned you can get the salary constraint from the user and check the employees who get a salary greater than this particular amount mentioned by the user okay let's check this output so here i want to display the employee details let me check the first option this one employee id let me give id 2 id number name department and salary is displayed then the second option is display all i'm choosing second option so all the three employee details are displayed here and the third option is i want to display only the names and their corresponding department alone so let me press 3 apart from the id we got name and department okay and the fourth option is you have to display with the filter that is you have to enter a salary constraint let me give salary above 22000 are the employees bob and karen salaries are above 22000 so that is displayed okay so five is to go back to main menu let me add an employee again we have only three employees now choice one one employee the id is 4 david accounting salary 25000 okay employee 4 details are inserted now let me come out okay fine now we need to write the code for update operation you can either update one document or update many documents so for updating the documents we need to provide two parameters to the method update one or update many so the first two parameter is the query that matches the document to be updated and the second parameter is the modifications to be applied for that document okay let's write the code so this is update employee method two options update a single employee or multiple employee if the user has chosen the choice one then 
we need to retrieve id of the employee to be updated from the user so here it must be in this way underscore id colon dollar equals uid you have to find out the document with this particular user id so collection dot find one of this query it is retrieved and it is stored in the present data whatever the updation we need to make in that particular document so i am getting both the key as well as the value key either it can be name or department or salary so i am getting both the key value pairs and new data will be you have to use this dollar set key colon value then you can make use of update underscore one method by passing these two arguments present data is the first argument new data will be the second argument okay and finally you can just check it by collection dot find underscore one query itself okay now the other option is to update multiple documents here i'm going to change the department name so the present department name is retrieved from the user and the new department is obtained from the user so new data will be dollar set department and the new department name and now you have to update many documents with this new data okay and finally we can display the output by using this collection dot find method so let's execute it now option 2 update employee details first option is update a single employee so enter id of the employee to be updated let me give the id as 2 then enter the key to be changed let me give salary give any other value okay so you can see the salary is changed now fine now again i am going to enter the second option now update multiple employees enter the department to be updated accounting and i am converting it into finance okay the id number two and four they both belong to two accounting so now the department has been changed to finance okay fine now the last option is delete so let's write the code for it okay so this is the function for delete employee and we have two options you can either delete a single employee or delete multiple employees the methods used are delete underscore one for deleting a single employee and delete underscore mini for deleting multiple employees so when the user presses choice one you can just give employee id directly in this format and you can pass that query in delete underscore one method or if you want many documents to be deleted here based on the department i want to delete so in the query i am mentioning the department name which i have got it from the user and collection dot delete underscore many query is passed as an argument so if i select finance department the records who belong to finance department will be deleted okay before checking the output let me show you how the contents have been updated here in the collection employee so total number of query results four so first allies second bob third and fourth okay fine now let's execute we have to check the fourth option you can delete a single employee i want the id number one to be deleted I'm deleting it so employee one is deleted again i want to delete multiple employees so enter choice to department to be deleted okay finance or deleted so let's verify it by choosing the option three choice three display all already deleted the first employee details and two members were present in department finance their records also were deleted the left out document is id number three okay that's it Also, you can drop the collection from the database by using the drop method. That's it. So, we have seen a simple example for Python MongoDB crude operations. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.